Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me for another video. This is Marquita from At Home With Kita and here I share tips on how to plan a balanced life. So if you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing. So in today's video, I'm gonna be flipping through my catch-all planner. There's so much that has changed with this planner, so I thought it was time to flip through it for you. So let's get into it. So I don't feel like I've done a flip through in a while so I thought it was the perfect time to be able to share with you guys how this thing is looking and just flip through from start to finish talk about all of the subjects and everything that is contained here so first and foremost this is a new cover from Notique it is super pretty with the quilted pattern I think it's called stone gray it's got the rose gold accents and I figured out how to get it closed because I know I talked about it on Instagram how it was just so much stuff in here that I couldn't close it I do have it on the larger size discs they're not expander discs they are considered expander from our shop I guess because they're the largest of the sizes that we have available but they are 1.50 happy planners 1.75 so just to give you an idea um, it's right in between expander and classic size discs so I I knew it was gonna to be tough getting it in here because this is a little bit tighter than some of the half letter covers I've seen from Notique that have just a little bit more wiggle room. And so I'm glad I got it in here and I love how it looks. So that is what I have in terms of the covers that I've chosen. And then when you look on the inside here, we've got some transparent sticky notes from our shop. And we've also got the project and the inbox sticky notes, as well as these sticky notes that came from the home management stationery box version two. So as you can see, I have clear discs, again, 1.50. I also have the frosted cover and I relocated my mild liner pen because it didn't fit on the side anymore. That was the problem that was holding me up from being able to close it. So once I put it down here, I was able to close it uh, more easily. It was right here behind all of this. And I think the two pins were moving against each other and it was preventing it from closing then I also have another pin here at the top which is my paper mate flare so I've got a total of three well two pins and a highlighter and I, I use them all three so I'm glad I have them all I don't have anything in these pockets over here just yet um, but I'm sure that may get filled up at some point so let's get into this flip through so first and foremost we have our balance vellum and this is my word of the year so I like to have that first and I felt like with the cover you can see it through and I just love the look of that I have a little a magnetic paper clip there and then I have steps on how to achieve balance on the back so that's what I've got there with a, a black sticky note with white writing and then we get to these pouches and just to let you guys know every single thing in here all of this is from our shop everything with the exception of the covers so if you're wondering we also have a collection on the shop called Kita's planner setup and I have it broken down by different types of planners like meal planners budget planners all of that and so if you want to get all of these inserts in the exact same setup that I have you can look in that collection all right so this pouch here is a clear pouch it's really cute I have them in A5 and half letter size. I am eventually adding mini and classic. And then inside of this, I just have a inbox vellum and a little sticky note with my meeting stuff and a photo of Addison and I. And on the back, I have these transparent sticky notes, some flags and some date dots. And so I just keep that in there for uh, me to be able to plan out and use these all the time. And all of this stuff so uh, it all comes in handy so that's why this is a true catch-all for me because I've got everything that you can think of in here so I don't have to really too much look for anything else because it's all here then I have my name vellum and then we get to 2021 year at a glance so this allows you to do some pre-planning then we've got a clear bookmark here and so that's what that is. And then I did recently redesign the 2022 year at a glance inserts. And so that's how they're gonna look here. They are available as of today. So I just did a little bit of tweaking and I like how clean they look. So we are ready to go for next year. Then we have a, I guess, I'm, I'm not sure what we call these in the shop, but it's just a clear printed plastic sort of, um, you know, sheet and it allows you to stack and that's why i love these because it's completely clear and you can stack them with different things like as you can see i have the vellum here the floral vellum 
Um, and I have this stack on top of that. So you can see the floral vellum behind it. And I just love it. Um, and then we have a sticky note. And this is my planner routine. So I have that stuck to the front. And then we get to inbox. This is the place where I just come and just write random things and dump it out. Then we have a social media planning sheet. Then we get to the calendar section. Now, let me just talk you through my tabs because this is where the beginning of the tabs start. So there's calendar, home, meal planning, family, finances, health, and then there's faith, school, personal, self-care, brain dump, and lists, just to talk you through those. So I kept July in here. I keep about two months in here. So I know we are out of July, so I need to go ahead and purge July out but we'll go ahead and flip through it since we're here. So I use the vertical week on one layout. And so that just gives me one page to write out all of my to-dos. And then I love popping in half sheets and notepads and sticky notes and all kinds of things. So that's kind of how my setup tends to look from week to week. And so this is how the weeks of July looked. And I have a tracker here. I love this layout. I just think it was so cute for summer. And then that's it for July. So I can go ahead and actually purge that out. And then we get to the actual first tab, which is a calendar tab. And we are currently in the month of August. I did go ahead and plan out my August, as you can see. I've got my monthly checklist in here that I use to make sure that I'm planning all the things. And so that's how my monthly looks. And then we get to the first week, which was last week. And that's how it looked. I used the uh, watercolor floral sticker book from the shop to decorate this particular spread. And then I popped in my meal planning insert as well as my tracker. This stays in here for the whole entire month, so I just transfer it from week to week. And then I have a little sticky note on here with an affirmation with one of our teardrop paper clips. At the top it says today. This is one of our frosted um, top tabs. And I put a little sticker on there that says today so I could easily get to what day we were in. And then I have an affirmation that says I control my own happiness. On the back here it says today has a couple of things that I wanna make sure that I'm doing. Then we get to this current week. Same setup, my meal plan insert. I did all my grocery shopping yesterday. The groceries are being delivered today. And then I do pre-planning. So next week you'll see another sticky note that has some things I need to write in. I decorate my spread and then I go ahead and write everything in. On the bottom here, I dip to some lunch ideas and snack ideas. Addison is back in school and she's in person. And so she takes lunch a couple of times a week. Then I have my theocratic schedule of all of my study stuff I need to do for the week. So I write it all in Monday through Sunday, and then I try to check it off if I can, but I write the date at the top, and then I write in all of my studies so I can make sure that I'm completing that on a daily basis. Then we have our weekly to-do list of just random to-do list items that I check off, and some things I add to the tasks list over here, and that way I can see it on my actual spread, but this is a running to-do list that I keep, and I just check the off as I finish them as you guys know we are working on the bathroom so I keep this here as a reminder because I do want to get going on it I haven't found the energy yet or the time to get started on that project but it is next up on the list of projects that we're gonna do and then this is my spread for this week I also used watercolor florals for this particular layout and I love how it looks it's really pretty and so that's the great thing about watercolor florals is that it has a whole variety of color schemes in there and so you're sure to find something that will give you some variation from week to week so I like how this turned out and how different it is from the previous week and then we just have the blank rest of the, the month in there and then I do actually have September so I decided for September I was gonna go back to the dashboard layout I do love the vertical week on one, but I like to change it up from time to time and the dashboard is one of my favorite layouts So I thought I would go back to that for the month of September and see how that works out for me Then we get to the home section and within the home section I have a folder here. This is a clear folder. We have this in A5 and half letter, working on getting these for mini and classic as well. Inside of here, I just have our house paint colors. So this, these are the colors of our house. As you guys, if you follow my stories of doing the laundry room and the hallway, you know this is the board and bat molding color, and then this is the wall color right here. I haven't used this color yet. So this stays in here just so I can keep it. And I just love how it looks in the planner as well. And then we've just got some notepads, 
uh, inserts that I pulled off the notepad and I just keep those here. And then we get to the declutter um, challenge. This came in the home management stationery box version two. It came with this page here and then a whole month of pages for you to be able to plan out each day. So I don't have all of those in here because that kept the things really bulky. So I said, when I get ready to do it, then I'll either pop it back in here a page at a time or I'll create a whole separate planner for that. We'll see how that works out. Um, but I at least wanted to see the prompts. Um, so I'm starting with the pantry. I was supposed to start August 1st. I didn't. I wanted to do this with you guys, but life just got in the way. And so I knew also uh, that I wasn't going to be able to do everything in this order. So I'm just kind of picking and choosing. And so when I do the declutter challenge with you guys, I want to actually do it, you know, in the order that I'm supposed to do it in. And so since I knew I couldn't, I just didn't, you know, I didn't mention it. And so that's that. And then we get to the weekly cleaning routine. I love these inserts. So I pulled our stickers and put each room on the header. And then I wrote in what I wanted to do for each day. I also did uh, some notes notes here at the bottom and weekly tasks and daily tasks and you just check those off as you do them and so this typically gets rewritten every single week and then I just check everything off as I'm doing it so I love these inserts and it comes double-sided so this is for one week and then this is for the next week so you really only need four for the month and our inserts come with eight pages and then I have this cleaning challenge that I got from I think clean mama and so I just keep it pinned in here as well along with a daily schedule of things that I wanted to do. I just keep everything in here, you guys. So I know I have this stuff written in other places, but I still keep my little notes and stuff that I had in here from the beginning until I wrote them on those inserts. Then we've got some projects that I wanna make sure that I'm getting done for around the house. So a lot of those things we were able to complete, like the floating deck, the main deck. Um, we did tree removal. We did AJ's office, Addison's room. We did um, the concrete walkway. We did a lot of things, you guys, with this house. But there's still much more things to do. So I keep a running list of those um, things that I want to make sure I get done. Then this is a list of Lowe's items that I needed. Then I created this cleaning schedule and I kept it in here. I have these other cleaning inserts as well that are blank that I keep in there as well. More fill paper. And then we had some laundry hacks that I was trying to write in and then more fill paper for the cleaning routine. And then we get to meal planning. This is my favorite section. I have a little sticky note here of recipes to try on Pinterest. I wrote in pen for Pinterest. Uh, we do have the 2022 meal planners uh, inserts just like these available as well. And those are up in the shop. So I just come here and I plan out my months. I can do a whole entire month of meal planning. I could do the whole year if I wanted to, or I could do week by week, which is what I do now. And so we are currently on this week. So I went ahead and wrote in all of the meals that we're going to have for the week. Then I have some lunch ideas. Again, I do have Addison takes lunch uh, a couple of times, a few times a week. And so I like to have some ideas here, some things that I can pack for her. Then we've got some items to keep on hand. This is what I use to make sure that I'm getting some the necessities from grocery shopping. And so this is items that I feel like our household should always have. So I like to look at this when I'm doing my grocery shopping as well. Then we get to some family favorite recipes. So these are some things that my family really loves. And so I make sure to keep this in here so that way when I'm struggling for an, a recipe idea, I can look at this and it'll give me some inspiration on what to prepare. And then this is just all fill paper that I use to replenish my sections. And then we've got the recipe cards here as well. I typically keep them in here of what I'm preparing for the week. I try to, and that way I could easily look in here when I'm ready to cook, as opposed to having to fumble around online to look for that recipe. Um, I have it in here. And then we get to the family section. I have a little die cut here that says rise and slay. And then we've got my Sunday routine on a little sticky note here on this grid paper here um, and so I just keep that on there although I do have it written in other places as well I have a whole routine section and then this was just a sample daily schedule that I wrote for myself that I wanted to make sure that I did on a daily basis and I just keep that in here as well you guys know I'm a routine person and so I try to stick to a particular routine and I don't always go by the hour but I like having this in here on those days when I do want to be a little more structured and then this is just a list of things I wanted to do in the pandemic, just some ideas for us as a family and some activities as well I wrote on the back. And then we get to my block schedule. And I like having this. It just breaks things up by time of day. And then this is a key that goes along with that. As you can see, everything is color coded very nicely. 
And so I just keep this in here for reference. And then we have some ideas for Malachi. He is a senior this year, so we're working on narrowing down some things that he wants to do after he graduates. And so I just started a little list there. And we've got some date night ideas. I have it broken down by home, things we can do like in the house or at the house, and then things we can do in town and then out of town. So I'm still working on this list because I want to make sure that we're getting out as a couple as well. That's important. And then we get to the routine section. This is a top tab. The two top tabs I have, or, or maybe I have four. This one had next month, so that's where you saw September. And then we have routines, fitness, and notes. So I've got four top tabs and I've got 12 side tabs. I think 12 side tabs. All right, so we get to the hourly schedule section. These are brand new inserts from our shop. And my thought process behind these is that I wanted to have a standard hourly schedule that I could follow day by day that really doesn't change. And so I'm working on writing things in. I printed out two of these for myself and I started writing it. And I said, let me figure this out first and then I will write it on these once I completely figure out how I want to structure my day by the hour. I told you guys I'm not really much of an hourly person, but I want to see where my time is being spent and I just want to see what my day looks like by the hour. So what I used to fill this in is I used my routine. So I do have routine. Oh, right here. We are in the routine section. Um, I use my routine here. So you guys know you saw me do a whole video on routines, how I create them and you know, what's on my routine. And so I use this, I have morning, afternoon, and evening. And then within that time frame, we pick certain things like, so like my afternoon is going to have the after school part of that. So as you can see after school routine and my morning is going to have the chores or my cleaning. My evening is going to have one of these other ones. Um, and so these are filled in within either my morning, afternoon, or evening routine. And so that's what I use or am going to use to fill these in. So I can't wait to fill this out. I think this would be really helpful for me. So it comes in eight pages, but this is how they look. So there's four sets of these. So it's going to be say hourly schedule and then this stuff is going to look on the inside and then that's how it's going to look on the back. So if you're like me, you just kind of want a, a sample schedule and you want to just keep this in there just for reference. These are great and you can do one for each family member. You can do one for work and for personal. Uh, you can do it however you'd like, but it comes with multiple sets so that you could break down your schedule. But it's not like your weekly planner um, that you use on a weekly basis to write in everything you need to do. So it's just something that you could use for reference. You don't have to actually Actually check things off and this is for your schedule that doesn't really change um, so you're not going to write in anything that's you know could change from week to week it would just be a standard schedule and then these again are my routines so I've got morning afternoon evening after school then I've got cleaning work faith self-care Sunday home family enrichment and bedtime so I keep those in there as well for reference, but I pretty much know what I'm doing by now. Then I had these daily routine inserts here that I just kept along with the Sunday routine. And that's what I used to create that other routine. Uh, then this was Addison's routine and I kept them. I just keep everything I write if it looks good, especially, but I started with this and then I moved over to this so I could break it down even further. And then more just blank fill paper along with another one of those clear pages stacked on top of some vellum and I have a little teardrop paper clip at the top and rose gold with a the hustle and the glow um, journaling cards so I keep that there then we get to the finances section these are brand new in the shop as well I just wanted a month on one page to be able to write in my bills and so that's what I've got here I wrote in every single bill that I pay personally and uh, this isn't anything related to the shop or the business or our family household expenses this is just me and things that I know I need to pay so I've got that for August I wrote those bills down so that I can transfer them onto that page and then I already have some things planned out for September and these come in a set of 12. So I've got six months in here. And then I have some no spend tracker inserts. I was doing a no spend for, uh, it looks like July, but I didn't finish logging everything in. I did pretty good though, but I need to make sure that I, I check those days off so I can see it on paper. Then we get to the health section. These are meal planner um, inserts from a notepad. I just tore those off and stuck them in there with a little adhesive folder there. And then we get to our blood pressure log. So I log in my blood pressure. 
And then we have the detailed tracker and I was tracking something here. I think my periods and yeah, cause that's, that's the last day of my last period. So I keep that, those in there and, and then we get to fitness. So fitness is a subsection within the health section. And I am starting to really get serious with planning out my health and fitness. And so I wrote in some notes over here, I'm just gonna do keto as always. And so I wanted to really break down my macros. So I wrote that there. Then I wrote in all of the classes at my gym. So that way I can take a class if I choose to. Then last week I didn't do so well. Um, I fell off the bandwagon and I'm always doing that. And then I just restarted next week. So this is how the current weeks look. Um, I don't track, I don't have a snack. So I just blocked off of the snack section. I only th eat three times a day. I have coffee in the morning all the time, every single week, every single day, coffee or tea or water. Um, and then for lunch, I eat at 12. I'm doing intermittent fasting. And so I wrote in uh, what we're gonna have for lunch and then for dinner as well. And I broke everything down by how many protein, fat, and carbs it has so I could make sure that I stick to my macros. These are my macros on the side. And then I wrote in all of my workouts that I wanted to do today. Today is upper body. So we're going to be doing an upper body workout, AJ and I. And so this is just the rest of the month. And then I wrote in some other notes on the back that I was trying to come up. I had um, incorrectly calculated my macro, so I, I had to redo it. And so I did it on the back here. Um, then I also created this little, um, I don't know what I call it, just for reference basically to get some ideas on some cardio I can do, some upper body and some lower body. I used our transparent page flag so that way I could pull this off here if I wanted to and I could stick this in my planner month or on my planner week if I wanted to. And so I thought that would be a cute idea or I could just leave it here and again just use it for reference. And I used our, our transparent sticky notes along with a Sharpie sometimes I know that the gel pens are, are supposed to work for these, but sometimes I just do the Sharpie because I, I know the Sharpie is going to work. So that's what I've got there. And then I have Body for Life. We were doing Body for Life at some point, and it's just a low-carb diet, high protein. So I wrote in all the stuff that we could have for that. And it's very similar to keto, so I keep it in there as well. So that's more fill paper. I don't think there's anything. Oh, and then there's some fitness log insert from the shop. I, I don't know from week to week what I want to use, so I just keep certain things in here. So that way I could switch it up if I need to. Then we've got some low carb snacks. And I think that might be it. Yeah, so these are just some snack ideas and I keep them pinned with this little magnetic page marker. Then we get to some keto meals on the go that I wrote in, egg roll in a bowl, buffalo peppers, cracked chicken, these are all good stuff. And then some things to keep on hand for keto. Then I had some keto recipes to try. And then we get to the faith section. I don't keep that much in here only because I have a full faith planner, but this is the scripture of the year, which is Isaiah 30, 15. So I keep that there, it's on vellum. And then I am writing in a list of all of the scriptures that I should know. I haven't quite started it yet. Well, I started it slightly, but um, I've got a ways to go. I want to write in some scriptures that everybody should know. I thought that would be a cool thing to do to add. Um, Addison learns a scripture a week. And so we write those scriptures in that we want her to learn. And the ones that she has learned, we check it off. And I just started this list. That's why there's not much to it. So I have to go in and write in all of the ones that she knows and check those off and then come up with some more for her to learn. And then this is my weekly planner schedule for all things theocratic. So day by day, what am I supposed to do for meeting prep, ministry for the kids and for Zooms and the Zooms that we have. So I keep that popped in there. I have a script for phone witnessing that I keep there. And then we get to school. And then within the school section, they just started school. So this is kind of, you know, a work in progress. Um, but I do have Addison's schedule for the day, her teacher's name. And so this is everything that she does during the day, broken down by the hour. And I had some ideas on what we could do like after school in terms of continuing her learning. I wrote in the school supply list, which I've already picked all this stuff up, of course, and she's taken it to school with her. And then some random full paper. So next up, we've got the personal section. And within the personal section, I've got my vision board inserts here for 2021. I am working on getting these uploaded to the shop for 2022. It's just a whole process. So as you guys know, they, it, everything flips out and the stickers 
that we have in the shop go along with these, meaning that it fits perfectly in the box. So as you can see, I didn't, I didn't crack quite write in what I was supposed to write in for 2021. You guys, that doesn't mean I didn't have goals. Just didn't have time to sit down and write it out. I did write some stuff out. And so um, if you purchase the boxes, they fit perfectly within these boxes, regardless of the size. The size is going to depend on the layout of the boxes. So like, of course, your smaller sizes, the boxes may, it may only be this many boxes or less. And the classic is going to have more and the big size is going to have more. So just take note of that. Um, and so these are really, really cool. So I am going to have these and I'm hoping to this year write them in with you guys because that works out best for me. When I um, do a video and I kind of write in all of my plans with you guys, it just helps me to get it done because I, I love having this vision board. I've done it for the past. This is the third year. And so every year I've written them in except this year. I don't know. I just wasn't inspired to write it in for some reason. And then we've got a, a, a notique card here that I just keep pinned onto the back. And then we are still in the personal section. I've got some affirmations here that I like to keep in mind. And then some things to track in my planner. I've also got some books I wanna read, podcasts and things like that. And I am reading Influencer by Brittany Hennessy. And I started reading How to Win Friends and Influence People and The Miracle Morning. There's also another one that I started as well. And so I like to keep this in here and um, check them off as I've read them. Then I found this little insert on Pinterest that says 50 best practices for a well-balanced life. And I thought this was cool just to keep popped in there. How to become a minimalist. I'm still working on that. And then some things I wanted to order for myself personally, some shows I wanted to binge watch, my natural hair regimen, and then I wrote this, this says conversation starters. Oh, I know why I did that. Um, so I just have that in there as well. Then we get to the self-care section. We've got another vellum here that says dream plan do. And then we've got our vitamin regimen. I do have a whole series of vitamins that I take. I try to take it every day. Sometimes I don't. It's a part of my morning routine. Um, and, you know, I'm trying to stay consistent with it. Then we have a skincare regimen, um, some immune building foods, and then I have self-care for the mind. This is something I did on a YouTube video. I also was gonna do one for the body and the soul, but I never got to it, but I like having this in here for reference. Then we get to brain dump. As you guys know, I did a video recently on how to do an effective brain dump. I have a section for brain dump, and so this is how the inserts look. I did this with you guys on camera. There are prompts here to help you to probe, to see how you can dump it all out, some questions you can ask yourself, a notes page, and then this is where you do your organization and your sorting of the ideas. And then this is where you kind of narrow it down in terms of when it needs to be done. And then you can go ahead and write it on your schedule. So that's what I've got there. And then this is when I did the video on how to create a to-do list. I just kept this in here as well. Um, so you'll do your writing your items, then you come up with your deadline, and then you'll mark it completed when it's completed. So these inserts are for, perfect for that. Then we go camping from time to time. We are definitely a camping family. So I have some things I want to make sure that we always bring. So I keep this in here as well. So that way, next time we do a camping trip, I'll have it available. And then we have, oh, a YouTube script. I redid my script for YouTube and I wrote it in here for some reason. All right, that is it for this section with the exception of some fill paper. Then we get to the lists section. You guys know I'm a list maker. I have a whole list notebook that I dump all of my lists in. It is um, on my shelf. I've showed you guys that from time to time. So I don't keep a lot of lists in here. I just only keep a few in here and the other lists stay in that other planner. So this is things to do in Atlanta. So we've got two pages of those. There's lots of things to do here, some things to do in the spring. And then I was writing in all of the campsites when I was looking for camping for us to go to and, um, and nothing was available. <laughs> and so I literally started writing in all of the names of the campsites that weren't available so I wouldn't keep calling the same ones. And so this is a full list of all the campsites in our area. And that is it for the list section. And then we get to notes, as you can see from the top. And within the notes section, I literally just keep blank fill paper to replenish other sections. So I've got the tracker inserts, and then I've got these ruled inserts. I've got these columns, three column inserts, the daily tasks, and some other fill paper back here to use to replenish those other sections. And then we've got 
a clear dashboard with some note sticky notes on there and that's where I keep my pins so I've got one here and then one at the bottom and this just stays in the back and then I end it with a piece of grid paper because whenever I use the planner like this I want to be able to see something decorative on both sides so I'll see this on this side and then I'll see that on that side so I just keep that slide it on in there and then I've got some sticky notes here um, and I just keep those in the back to be able to easily pull from if I need to write a quick note so that is my catch-all planner you guys you always love flip through videos so I said let me just do another flip through I feel like I haven't really done a full flip through and talked to you through everything that I have here so I definitely wanted to do that today as you can see there's a lot going on in here but I love how it looks it's very neutral and just pretty and I want to grab this planner every single day and use it because I, I just love it that much I do also have a bow here at the top and that's from Kay and Coco otherwise like I told you guys everything is from Fancy Plants Co so I have a link below in the description just in case you're interested again I have a collection that's called Kita's Planner Setup that you can look in if you want this exact setup okay so that is it for this video guys hopefully you enjoyed it you got a little inspiration maybe you found something you want to pick up for your planner which means you'll give me a thumbs up on this video you'll consider subscribing to my channel if you're new here and you'll come back by and catch another video in which case I'll see you guys then